future of the internet? Well, it depends on a lot of things. Um, if it's Title II, uh, <laughs> I suspect it'll go the same direction as the telephone companies, which have been Title II since 1934. And that will be a problem. Um, so I'm really hoping that it won't go in that direction. Um, now, now, on the other hand, if, uh, if we can get reasonable legislation, if we can get re reasonable regulatory support, um, I think we understand what we want to get out of it. It's how do we get that out of it that we're having problems with. If we can get that part solved, uh, we are worldwide deploying infrastructure. We're, you know, we've been doing that for quite a while. And um, you know, I have to believe that as, as countries uh, become more integrated in, that, that that will be a better thing. Um, in many cases, that depends on a um, uh, clue, uh, understanding by the government itself and by the regulators. So I've been involved with um, uh, University College London and with NATO on de deploying an NREN to connect universities in Afghanistan. Uh, and they've been through several phases of that, and right now it's 22 universities, five of which by satellite, and the rest by uh, relatively unreliable, but they're fiber. Um, and uh, you know, getting that going, to, to, university in Afghanistan often means a few thousand people, as opposed to tens of thousands. Uh, but okay, if we can get reliably 10 megabit to a couple thousand people, then there's some chance that we can do uh, video conferencing and tie them into universities and other places. Um, you know, education is, is a very important thing. You know, and, and the fact that we're there, where uh, in 2005 I visited Kabul, and uh, one of the questions that was brought up, you know, we, we had a, a presentation from a CCNA class that wanted to run uh, internet connectivity throughout the girls' dorm. Now, the fact that they had a girls' dorm was very, very interesting in 2005. Uh, but okay, so, so we're talking about that and getting presentation from the students who had done this work. And one of the questions that came up was, and so, so I understand all this stuff, the money's fine, you know, I get all that, but why would I give inter internet connectivity to our girls? Um, and you know, why, why do they need that? And it's like, well, you know, this is part of education. <laughs> this is how it works. Uh, and, and the fact that it has moved forward to where it is now, um, it, that's progress. You know, good things have happened. And I, I see that happening in a lot of countries. So, you know, I have to believe that that progress is going to continue.